Hello, it's Sarah here. This is one of a series of podcasts about developing emotional intelligence to increase our well-being. So stopping negative self-talk in its tracks. Why is this an important sign of emotional intelligence? How much time do you think you spend worrying about what might happen? So that thing where you're going over the same scenario over and over again in your head, convinced that there's a bad outcome to, I don't know, let's say a conversation that you think you're going to have with your boss tomorrow or your partner or something that might happen at an event you're going to and you're just thinking, oh, that th- oh, that might happen. Um, and then you create the scenario and you're almost having the conversations in your head about it. So, and that, if that's going on a lot, it's hard to notice it and it's hard to notice how much we do it until we start to spend a bit of quiet time, just totally alone with ourselves, no TV, no radio in the background, to listen to what's going on in our brain. And quite often we don't like it. And that's why we've always got background TV, background radio, or playing a game or something to distract us from that. But it is a distraction, it's not solving it. So once we're aware of all those negative thoughts, we can choose to do something different. And there's three reasons, three really good reasons why to choose to stop doing it. So first, the negative self-talk keeps us in a state of worry and fear. Um, On a physical level, it taps us into that adrenaline, that fight or flight, so we're sort of a bit defensive. And that has a, a real effect on our energy so it lowers our energy so we've literally got less energy we'll be more tired and of course it affects our mood if we're dreading something or fearing something that's going to happen we're not in a good place second really good reason is that if we're constantly replaying an imaginary sort of scenario of something bad happening we're kind of visualizing something we don't want now there's loads of sort of evidence and examples of people who have visualized things that they do want positive things and spent as much time thinking about how it will happen and what the conversations will sound like when all of that's happening when you're getting the job that you want or whatever it is that you would like to have in your life so I think if you're going to spend loads of time thinking about something make sure it's something you want rather than it's something you fear The third reason is that once we start to notice that we're doing that worrying about something that hasn't actually happened, we can question whether or not we've got any evidence for the worry. So, for example, if you're worrying because you're going to be with a group of people the next day and you're worrying that it's that you don't feel comfortable in that group of people and therefore you drink too much and therefore you get into arguments with somebody there and that has a really bad effect. Are you worrying about that because that's what's happened before with that group of people and you've responded in that way? Because if so, there's some fact to back up the negative thought. So there's, there's evidence to show that that might happen because it's happened before. So then you've got to think, why do I want to go and be with that group of people? So again, it takes you back to you can make a more positive choice. Um, And that means that you can make changes, really positive changes to your life if there's actually any evidence for the thing you're fearing. Now, all of this takes time and it takes practice. Um, But one, you know, and to notice that we're playing that scenario in our head. But once we've noticed it, we can, because quite often it will be about thinking if that happened I couldn't cope and actually we could cope even if it's not the outcome we wanted so again you can stop that talk self-talk and think okay I might not like the outcome but fretting about it now and spending loads of time worrying about it now isn't going to help the situation let's just go and see what happens and I will cope with it one way or the other I gave an example um, of how I used self-talk in one of my previous podcasts, the one about not holding grudges. Um, And that was, if you've not heard it, I turned up at a festival that's my favourite festival um, with a group of people I love, I'm totally comfortable with, 
and there was somebody in the midst of that group who I hadn't seen for 25 years who I was holding a grudge against because I majorly thought, great, that means all weekend now I've got to, so I'm going to be on my guard and I started to have those defensive negative self-talks and thinking, oh, for goodness sake, why have they had to, you know, rock up in my social group? Um, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I very quickly noticed because now that's uncommon for me to have that negative self-talk. Whereas some years ago, that was the norm. There was always that, that negative stuff going on in my head. And now, because with practice, 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 I've stopped that. I noticed it. I thought, what's it about? And I thought, ah, oh, that'll be because I'm holding a grudge against her that's 25 years old. How ridiculous. You know, about a minor thing that somebody did years ago when we were young, foolish and, you know, you know, different different space. So it helps us to retune and, and drop things that we don't need. I dropped that immediately. I had a lovely weekend with her. Really enjoyed her company. Um, so, yeah, that's, the, that, that's one of the other key things is that as soon as you notice it, you can you can stop yourself from doing it um so yeah i hope that's uh, some good reasons why and a little bit of how we can stop those negative self talk um that that constantly having that in our head how we can stop that thank you for listening if this resonates with you and you'd like to work with me to develop your emotional intelligence give me a call or email me or contact me via the website. Thank you.